Hello everyone, my name is Zhu Wei Today I'm gonna present Haptic Go Around, a surrounding platform for incarnate type haptics in virtual reality experiences. This work is done by me and my fellows from National Taiwan University. Haptic Go Around is a merry go round like platform. With this platform, VR experienced designers could deploy props and devices to provide haptic feedback. You can see from this video. A user wearing VR headset is holding a controller that is attached to the platform. As the whole platform rotates, the user feels forced feedback. OK, let's start with why we do this work. Researchers have proposed different haptic approaches to enhance immersion in virtual reality. Some of them present physical geometries, some simulate textures, and some provide forced feedback. However, most of these devices are specialized for limited use cases. In order to provide haptic feedback in more general cases, incarnate type haptics are first proposed in 1993 in the work Robotic Graphics. This approach often includes robots or humans that carry interactive devices to the right place at the right moment. It also enables hand-free interactions and can reuse single physical device as several virtual objects. However, there are several downsides. First of all, switching equipment is inefficient. Also, adding additional actuators costs much and requires complicated calculation, such as planning the path and picking objects. So it is hard to scale up. Finally, the working range is often limited. As a result, it is quite difficult for designers to really use encounter type haptics in their VR applications. To solve this problem, we were inspired by previous works and focused on creating immersive space using circular system. So we present haptic go around. Classic encounter type haptics usually use multiple high degree of freedom actuators and carry only one equipment at a time. Our key idea is we want to use less degree of freedom but carry multiple components around the user at the same time. We provide both hardware and software interfaces for more agile deployments in VR applications. Let me show you how Haptic Around can be used in a VR application designing process. I'm gonna develop an immersive worship game. First of all, we need a driving system to navigate the boat. We want a steering wheel to control the direction and a lever to control the throttle. So we made the corresponding props and we insert them into two of the cartridge slots on the platform. The RFID reader on the platform will read the tag on the prop and automatically register it into Unity application. Then, we can adjust the position of virtual objects in Unity editor. As you can see, the software interface shows a transparent ring as the indicator of the real position of haptic go around. To spice up the cruise, we decided to add some pirates in our experience. So we equip our boat with a telescope that can discover enemies and a cannon to attack enemies. We use a pair of spade grip to represent the handle of the telescope. As for the cannon, since it has a similar handle as the telescope, we can just simply reduce the spade grip. And then we add a cannonball prop to load the we then insert them as well. Now that in our worship game, we can drive the boat, discover enemies, and shoot down enemies. Since the telescope and cannon share the same physical prop, user may have to wait for the platform to rotate to the right place. If it's not ready, the system will highlight the contour to warn the user. Finally, we want to add a full body intensive interaction. Fishing. This time, instead of making our own prop, we decide to use the VR controller as a fishing rod. We connect the controller to a prop cartridge with an elastic rope. As the ring rotates, the user could feel the force feedback as if a marlin is dragging the fishing rod around. Let me show you more examples of how to go around integrating with existing game types. Let's begin with the first person shooter game. We mount a Nerf gun that can simulate enemies shooting from any directions all around the user. In this example, we show that haptic around enable full directional interaction 
that is not only limited to the front of the user. We can mount a button and create a 360 degree rhythm game. We could also mount more than one button so that the average distance of rotation is smaller and thus the reaction time could be shorter. In this game, we demonstrate how haptic around can reuse one single haptic component as multiple virtual objects. The surrounding platform also enables large-scale bimanual interactions. In our room escaping game, the user grabs an electric pl plug and a socket in each of his hands on the two sides of the platform. He then connect them to open the door. With above examples, we have demonstrated several functionalities of Haptic Go Round. First, Haptic Go Round rotates haptic components to the right place at the right moment to provide right haptic feedback. Second, Haptic Go Round could work with lots of types of haptic components. Designers could mount either customized props or existing VR controllers. Third, with our platform, single haptic components could be reused for multiple virtual objects. Fourth, Haptic around could provide force feedback by the movement of the platform. Finally, the surrounding platform could provide more immersive experiences, such as by manual interaction and all directional interaction. There are even more to explore with any prop system that you can imagine. In the next part, I'm going to talk about how we design Haptic around. Our goal is to create a minimal platform as mentioned to support full body interactions. We design our platform based on the following consideration. We set the shape to be a uniform ring, so that every prop has the same distance to the user. The scale is set to be just fit for a user to reach the prop with his hands simply rise. As for the degree of freedom, since one of our primary goals is to reduce the complexity of using in current type haptics, we decided to use only one actuator, that is, a ring frame that spins independently. Our system consists of four parts. The first part is the hardware skeleton. We use two metal wheels to create a ring frame for prop cartridges and put a turntable on the button to make the whole platform rotatable. The ring and the turntable are rigidly connected by aluminum profiles. The second part is the control system. We use a DC motor to friction drive the turntable. Two infrared sensors and printed black and white stripes make up the incremental encoder. With the input from the encoder and the output to the motor, we implemented PID control to rotate the platform. The third and the most important part is our plug-and-play prop cartridges system. Our prototype contains eight empty slots for a cartridge to insert in. Each slot is made up with two markers for inside-out tracker to calibrate and an RFID reader to identify the prop. To mount the prop, user can easily attach their haptic components to a 5mm acrylic sheet because acrylic sheets are flat and easy to modify. Finally, it's our software system. We provide an interface that displays the 3D model of haptic go around as an indicator to locate virtual objects in the Unity editor. The software server is also the communication center of other parts in order to provide real-time interactions. You can find more implementation details and technical specs in our paper. To evaluate our work, we conducted two user studies. In the first study, we want to answer the question, does the haptic feedback provided by haptic go around improve user experience? We recruited 12 participants to try out our worship game in two conditions, one with haptic go around, and the other have no haptic feedback as the baseline. After each condition, we had them rate their level of enjoyment and realism. From the plot, we can see that Haptic Around got higher ratings in both aspects, which suggests that our platform do provide appropriate haptic feedback. However, several participants complained about the misalignment between physical props and virtual objects. This is mainly come from improper tracking of the props, so we might need more accurate sensing techniques to avoid this. 
We wanted to further validate haptic around as a designing tool. So we conducted in-depth interview with experienced designers. We recruited 12 designers. We provided a hands-on walkthrough of the system and we interviewed them with two main directions. How would they integrate the system with their former projects and how would they develop a new experience with haptic go -round? All designers who have worked with VR said that they could integrate haptic go -round with their previous projects. And nine of the participants are willing to use our platform for their future applications. During the interview, we also received plenty of creative feedback. For example, four of the designers proposed adventure game because this type of game often includes a lot of interactive objects. Also, three of them see the opportunity to integrate special modules with our platform, such as heat and powder. However, several participants want us to provide simple props and corresponding scripts, so that they can speed up their development. More ideas are discussed in our paper. After the interview, we continued to work with two of the participants and finished the design of two scenes. First, it's a battle game. User can open up a circular menu and select weapons in it. The second one is a hammer throwing game. Our platform provides force feedback in this game. Hammers with different weight could be simulated by controlling the resistance from the platform. The interview shows that Haptigora allows VR experienced designers to deploy current type haptics in existing applications as well as new ones. But both the software interface and the prop cartridge could be further optimized. There are several limitations of our work. First of all, it's the rotating latency and the resolution. These are mainly caused by the microcontroller. Second is the fact that our platform requires designers to take extra considerations in several aspects, such as prop tracking. This is very important in order to avoid the misalignment mentioned in study one. Also, if the designer wants to use an active prop, they will have to handle a communication between the props and the server on their own. However, making use of existing VR controllers could largely avoid these situations. Finally, what we are proposing here is the minimal but not the optimal setup. The degree of freedom in our system is currently limited to the ER rotation. We can definitely extend it to have more but reasonable degrees of freedom. In our future work, we plan to add linear actuators for radiation movement and stack more than one ring frame to create a multi-layered haptic go round system. We will also integrate with an omni mail to allow local motion. Finally, I'd like to conclude our work with two takeaways. First of all, we have presented Have to Go Around, which is aiming to bring the deployment and development of inquiring type haptics to a more pragmatic level. We provide both hardware and server interfaces so that designers can easily mount a lot of types of haptic components. These components could be whatever you want. In the simple experiences, we have shown that how our platform could be used with both self-made props and existing VR controllers. With this work, we are seeking a chance to provide a platform that can integrate most kinds of haptic devices, such as controller-based devices, shape displays, and so on. Secondly, we see haptic Garam as a novel type of VR arcade machine. Most of the current machines only allow users to interact with one single object in a very limited region at all time. Our surrounding platform can provide all directional interaction. We also provide large-scale interaction with users simultaneously using multiple objects. Together with an omni treatment, we see that Haptic Goron is a feasible solution in future VR arcades. With this work, we want to bring haptic feedback into these kind of arcade setup machines and create more immersive experience. This is the end of my talk. Thank you very much.